Hello and welcome to today's video where I will be showing how I touch up my hair and for now let's get into today's video. In the meantime I do want to start out by detangling my hair. After this I have to clarify my hair three times. Ideally you could do it two times but the shampoo I have is not actually a clarifying shampoo. I'll be using a sample that I have of like the way hair detox I believe is called and then going in twice with my Kerasis Honey Shampoo. Detangling the hair prior to doing the Japanese hair straightening is important because there is no conditioning step as soon as you start the process. I've heard of people adding in shampoo and conditioning steps after the first step and you cannot do that because that messes with the chemical. You need to follow the instructions step by step, word for word, especially if you're an amateur like I am. And any negative results you have as a result of not listening to the instructions are entirely your fault. Now that my hair has been detangled, I'm going in with the shampoo step and then I'll come back as soon as my hair is wet so you can see how it looks with the application process. Okay, so after washing my hair and letting it sit in the towel for about 10 minutes, remember all I did was shampoo my hair, it's not conditioned, so when I'm detangling it, I want to be extra careful. Next, I'm going to go in with the Shiseido, starting with step one and then following up with step two. So with step one, the actual chemical processing step, I'm going to take it and put it into this bowl and I'm going to have some assistance from my mom. So I'm going to do most of the application off camera, but basically it's just like how you would apply any other thing. You take this, put this in here. Since I'm just touching up, I'm just doing where I can see that my hair is wavy and avoiding all the parts where it's straight. As soon as it's all over my head, I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. Okay, this is what my hair is looking like with everything applied and kind of smoothed in. It looks like a regular relaxer. It's like a little bit thinner, but Now it's time for me to go rinse it out, so I'll come back after I'm done rinsing it out to blow dry it and flatter it. Now after rinsing out my hair thoroughly to get the first step out, this is what my hair is looking like out of the towel. So basically my hair soaking wet looks like this. Okay, after completing the blow dry step, this is what my hair is looking like. It's very soft, fluffy. I didn't use any heat protectant uh, because typically with the Shiseido, it's okay not to for the first time. I might use a little bit for the second time. Blow drying and cutting. And I'll come back after I'm done flattering my hair. Okay, this is what my hair is looking like after the flat ironing step. It has grown. It's getting darker and darker by the minute, so I'm gonna hurry up neutralize and do this all over again and that's going to be it for the night. This is my hair with all the neutralizer in it. Then I just rinse it, blow dry it, flat iron it again and that's it. This is the final time rinsing my hair and this is my final wet result. My hair is completely straight, so it's been successfully retouched. As you can see, there's absolutely no problems with tangling it or anything like that. 
and I'm going to proceed to blow dry and flat iron it the last time. Then I won't clip it, wet it, crease it, anything like that for the next 48 to 36 hours. If I get too hot um, in two days from now, I will go ahead and just pull my hair up and there's not going to be any negative repercussions for it. And time for me to blow dry and flat iron one last time. This is what my hair is looking like blow dried. Okay, here are my final results after completing my touch up process. This is my hair with absolutely no other products in it. I'm going to add a tiny bit of serum, not even a full pump, but half a pump. Put my scarf on and go to bed. So this is a serum I'm using for my whole head. I'm really mostly putting it on my ends to make sure they didn't get any extra damage from the straightening process. But um, I'll see you in the morning. So it is the next morning and as you can see, I don't have my scarf on, but it's not because I took it off. It fell off while I was sleeping and I woke up again with it beside me. Surprisingly, my hair was still okay when I woke up. This part is just sticking up a little bit. And at the nape, there's a few wavy pieces, but it loves to do that. So now we get to see how my hair turned out after I finished everything last night. I feel like my hair's gotten really long all of a sudden. I don't know if it's just me, but when I look at my photos from the beginning of the year, and I'm like, my hair was that long? It has changed so much in like just a few months. But I believe it's also because I haven't been getting trims as often this year since I don't have as much damage. I will be getting a trim at the end of this week while I'm filming and also probably by the time this video is uploaded I'll have gotten my trim. I'm going to like have a before and after but I don't think I'll be able to vlog at the hair salon just for various reasons. So hopefully I don't have to get too much of a trim. Mostly. I'm trying to trim my bangs because they have grown out a lot and I don't mind them being this length. This is a pretty good length, but um, when I have a few that are face framing, it makes for cuter hairstyles and my hair doesn't just look like one dimensional. Um, I'm going to turn to the side and to the back so that you can see everything. So that's it for today's video. I want to thank you all for watching and supporting as always, for all the loving comments, for all the kind check-ins and suggestions. I love the suggestions the most because I'm always drawing blanks on what to film and upload next. But for now, I hope that you're all taking good care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next video.